Welcome back to the Redneck Day Trader. Tonight we're going to be looking at Roblox Corporation, ticker symbol RBLX. Uh, this is one of the top metaverse plays for all you metaverse fans out there. So we're going to be looking over the daily chart <clears throat> and kind of giving you some of my thoughts on this stock and ask the question, is it getting time to start nibbling on this stock? The thing, like most stocks, or most metaverse stocks, has been beat to death. So let's look at the daily chart right now. You can see uh, that we're sitting here about $40, $41. And back during the earnings on uh, February the 15th, uh, we were as high as $73 of reported earnings and we had a humongous dump and it's been a dump ever since. So I've got that gap uh, marked right here. This red line right here is the gap fill. And if you're a believer in all gaps get filled, then sooner or later, we've got to go up here and test this red line and fill this gap at some point. Now that could be three weeks, three months, or three years. Who knows? But uh, like I said, in my 25 years, I can't think of any gaps, if any at all, that haven't been filled. And I, I've seen some, I've seen some big gaps before. But anyway, let's say we did get this gap fill in the next 12 months. Let's see what kind of a percentage gain that would be from where we closed at today. If you go up, that would represent a 60% gain from today's close. Are you kidding me? Man, I'm, I'm telling you, if, if a guy had patience uh, until this gap closed and he bought, that's a 60% gain. I mean, that's a lot of money. If, that, if you got $10,000 invested, that is a $6,000 gain. If you got $100,000 invested, that's a $60,000 gain. I mean, not many places uh, can you find an opportunity to make 60% pretty soon? Oh, we hope pretty soon. But if you're a believer in the metaverse and you're a believer in the stock market and you think that stock market will eventually turn around, well, this could be a play. This could be a play for you. So let's go back and look. This stock, let's look at the monthly chart. This stock IPO'd back around this time last year. Uh, I believe the IPO price was at $45. Uh, so the day it opened on the stock, it closed that day at $64.83 and the low was $60.50. So all the new investors that got in on the IPO before it opened on the market got in at $45. Well, if you look at where it's trading today, it is trading at $41.30. So that's like four dollars under the IPO price. So, if any of you, uh, anyone on here is watching that understands how this works, because I, I don't. Who is selling this stock? If you, if you got in on the ground floor at forty-five dollars, if you're selling now, you're selling for a, a ten percent loss, pretty much. I mean, does people really do that? I mean, it, it just it blows my mind on how much selling pressure. And how much selling has happened below the initial IPO price. So I don't quite understand it. Is that short sellers pushing this down? Or is it actually people that invested in this company in the beginning and are bailing on it? I mean, it just to me it doesn't make sense on, you know, there can't be a lot of people willing to sell down uh, at these lower 40, uh, the lower 40 range. I mean, because there's never been, the price has never been here before. So... To me, it just doesn't make sense, and it's just uh, the common sense of me thinks that, hey, okay, this stock is beat to death. There's not, not very many people. I mean, there's nobody that's bought down here. So eventually, it's going to have to spring back up, right? It only makes sense. But if you look back, even uh, during this summer, when was this? Actually, November. Uh, just three or four months ago, this stock was... Setting at $140, and now you're at 40 Let's look at the percentage gain on that. Let's say it did get up to the all-time highs. 
what's that percentage come out to? So if you bought today and let's say over the next 12 months it hit, uh, went back and tested the all-time high, that's a 241% gain. Wow, man. Now, I'm not a financial advisor. I'm just strictly a redneck day trader. And I just, you know, I, I don't sit on, on here and, and tell you all about the company, what the company's about and stuff. You guys can read. Uh, you guys do research. You know what Roblox is about. All I do is just look at the charts and just try to make uh, sense of things, you know, when they're, when they're overdone on the selling side or the buying side. You know, I look at the charts, I look at the RSI, I look at the TSI, the MACD, all these indicators. And I'm just coming to bring you uh, the information that I see from the 25 years of experience of me uh, buying and selling stocks and, and depending on the charts to tell me what's going on. So I'm just thinking, like I say in, in most of my videos, if you're a new trader and you've got $10,000 to invest, I would split that up five ways and I would have five, what I call it, bullets of $2,000 each. That way you've got five opportunities to buy. So if you're big into the metaverse, and like I said, I'm not a financial advisor, just a redneck day trader, you know, you could be looking around these areas of maybe using your first bullet of $2,000 to kind of nibble in on some of these stocks like Roblox. Uh, like I said, if it keeps going down, you can use another bullet and average down and, and, and keep doing that until you get the position that you want and just kind of sit back and wait. Uh, you know, the stock market's really been getting beat up the past, uh, well, all year from the first of the year. So if we have any kind of good news uh, of the war uh, ending or getting in a better place, uh, the Fed start, actually start raising rates and it gives uh, Wall Street, you know, the uncertainty, it, it, it calms the uncertainty, and they actually know what's going to happen. You know, we could get a pretty strong rally because some of the best uh, bull market rallies come from a bear market. So you're, you're down probably, I don't know what we're down for the year. We're probably down close to 20%, I would think. I haven't looked. But if you get, you know, a 10% market rally, some of these stocks like Roblox, it's just been beat to death. Let's see what it's down for the year. What did it start out? You started out at $104 uh, at the beginning of the year, 2022, and you're down to $40. So if the whole entire market rallied, had a 10% rally, Roblox, it could possibly go up 30 to 60% during that time. I mean, these stocks can really rock it. So anyway, I just kind of wanted to touch on some of the metaverse stocks and kind of uh, give you some of my thoughts on some of the stocks I'm, I'm looking at. I actually, own, to be honest, I actually own some of Roblox. I have a very small position uh, that I started. I'm not trying to pump the stock. I've only got like 142 followers right now, so I, I, I doubt I'm going to make any kind of impact. I'm not definitely trying not to pump the stock up. Uh, just kind of spreading uh, the word on kind of what I see, you know, some bargains in the market. So if you like that kind of thing, um, I have several videos out on different stocks. Uh, if you like this, give me a thumbs up, and I'd appreciate if you subscribe to my channel. I try to stay active all week and, and put out uh, videos throughout the week. And sometimes on a weekend, I take the weekends off. But uh, anyway, yeah. Uh, check me out. Let's make some money together. Leave some comments, good or bad. Doesn't matter to me, man. We'll, we'll have a good conversation regardless. So anyway, you guys have a good night, and we will see you tomorrow.